How many of you actually know what biodiesel is? Biofuels are any thing that you can burn. Alcoholic ester of a fatty acid. In other words, it can come from plants or, or algae or even animals, so animal waste. The whole biodiesel from used vegetable oil is definitely a good idea because it reduces waste as well as creates a usable product. Biodiesel at MIT is a, a student-run organization that's been working to get a biodiesel processor installed on campus that's going to take the used vegetable oil from campus dining from fry leaders and all that kind of stuff and convert it into fuel for the tech shuttles on campus. Does it smell like french fries? I guess it does. <laughs> I got involved because I heard about biodiesel. I was working in renewable energy. And I heard they were looking for someone to do some testing. When I got here as a freshman, I was really looking for some sort of energy or environmental initiative. I joined the group actually as the uh, website manager. They really need some finance help, so uh, I figure I have the skill set to help with the project. I tried from the beginning to say, uh, this is not a research problem, this is an implementation problem. The group had been told, if you get funding, it'll be easier. The project's going to pay for itself within a year. We also wrote up a proposal for the MTVU GE Eco-Imagination Challenge. The you know, charismatic dude from MTVU came in burst in, they had balloons, they had this giant check. I had to go take a math test after that. <laughs> the administration had, you know, theoretically supported the project. You can parallel this as people in a community going to government and saying, we have the solution, we just need a place for it, and maybe incentives, economic incentives. I really didn't think it would take that much time because the group had just won $25,000. But we had no experience uh, with the implementation. We had no experience in policy. We still didn't have space. We still didn't have a processor. Um, there wasn't really anything tangible uh, that people could see. So we lost a lot of, I guess, recognition and uh, student support. We had the technical uh, problem solved, so we thought everything else was easy. This experience actually taught me that it's actually the other way around. So even if you have the technology, if it's not going to be uh, implemented by the government or the administration, nothing's going to happen. So we got to a point at the, the very end of the spring semester in 2008 where the, uh, the administrative organization that had been helping us look for space basically just said, you know, our, our least expensive space right now is like $160,000 worth of renovations. This is really just infeasible. We're going to stop looking for space for you and I'm sorry, we can't help you. So we agreed that we would sort of terminate the group. We came to that conclusion after a lot of struggling, especially because, uh, because it seemed at that point that all the effort was wasted. There's actually, like immediately following that, a huge student uprising of support. Three or four days later, we get a call from this Committee for Review of Space Planning and the Department of Facilities, and they're like, hey, we can get back again. We found you space this time. This is Biodiesel at MIT's Biodiesel Processor. Being part of the group has helped me realize how important the politics of it all can be. I'm so convinced that the policy is more important. It's just sort of pushed me to minor in policy. Putting different groups of people together always produced uh, pretty good results. There have to be first movers. Even if you have a good idea, it doesn't really matter if you have to change the way people do things. But after biodiesel at MIT, I know that people will be able to do things like this much more easily.